Hi, this is going to be a video tour of a 1998 Boston Weller Outrage, 26 feet long, has dual outboards, Yamaha 225s, two-stroke engines. Uh, you can see on top there's a radar, has a nice stainless steel wraparound uh, bow rail, uh, keeps everybody nice and secure, has 17 rod holders. Now let's just do a quick walk around here. There are no dings in the hull. The gel coat is in great condition. Fresh undercoating. And there's the two 225 engines. The trailer is a 1998 Towmaster, has new brake pads, calibers, and discs. You can see it's a surge style, so when you push your foot on the brake of the car, the trailer moves forward and automatically pushes the surge compressor together, which applies tension to the brakes. As you pull away, it pulls the tongue out and it leaves, takes the brakes off. Okay, let's go ahead and climb up, take a look on the inside. And okay, here's your battery compartment. There's uh, port and starboard batteries. Here's the controls for them. Your Perco's port and starboard. Instructions as far as which is which is right on the door here. You can see you have a fold out seating in the stern. We have a fresh water wash down, so it's a little shower. Pulls all the way out so you can rinse off after tubing or whatever. And then you got some rod holders along the back stern here. We have four rod holders up on the T-top, floodlights on the front and back of it. You have your seating for the captain's chair. So we got three people can sit on the back. Two, two or three can fit up on the front by the console. When we walk around to the front, we can see we have additional seating cushions on the starboard side, port side, and also right in front of the console is another seating area. Continuing up front, we have a windlass, so you can lower and raise the anchor without having to go all the way back. The controls are on the console at the helm. Underneath the console is a porta potty, a freshwater sink. There's your sink with a pull out shower if you want to take a shower. The boat holds 20 gallons of fresh water. There's a storage drawer for small items there. There's a larger drawer right under here. You can see the handles for it. And then back in the left-hand side of the picture here, that compartment opens up. There's also a canvas organizer that um, hides all the rear of the instruments that are on the front of the helm. Walking around to the front, we have the, we have the Raymarine C120 monitor, which we can see that we have a map of our area, we can see the depth with our fish finder, and we also have an area where we can plot our course. And we can also have several different modes we can bring up. If you look across the bottom here as I push the page, it gives us different options for what's going to be displayed on the screen as we go through each one. So you can bring up the radar, you can bring up the fish finder, you can bring up the... Right now it's set up for if I put in the coordinates where I want to go, this is like a little highway and the little boat will be going along here and if I go off course, it goes over here and you just keep steering yourself back on so anybody can go ahead and just follow the um, path to get you to your destination. It'll tell you elapsed time, time to destination based on your current speed. Um, very handy to have. Then we have our VHF radio with the microphone that has the ability to raise and lower the volume without having to go over to the radio itself. Um, very handy. Inside this waterproofed area here in the console, we have a waterproof housing that holds an AM, FM radio with um, four speakers. Um, the electronics up top are in a custom-made 
stainless steel enclosure that is lockable so it keeps all of your electro expensive electronics protected. Here we have the switches for all your different options as far as your nav or anchor lights, courtesy lights, interior lights, bilge pump, sump pump, tower lights. Um, here we have the fuse for the um, windlass, so if you were to overstrain it, this would pop up letting you know that you tripped the breaker basically. You just have to let it cool down and push it back in. I've never had to do that though. And then over here is a rocker switch whether you want it to go up or down for your, uh, your anchor. Here are your trim tabs right here, so you can go ahead and get your boat uh, nice and level on plane while you're going along. Uh, here is your power steering unit. Uh, very easy to add fluid if you ever had to. It would just go right in here, you unscrew this, pour the fluid in. Um, you never had to uh, add any fluid. And then you have your um, two indicators for the port end port engine, and you have your two indicators for the starboard engine. It tells you your temperature and your um, your oil for the two cycle engines, your fuel capacity, um, as far as whether it's a you got half a tank left or full. Um, very, very good, reliable um, instrumentation. Here we have the console seats, and under the seats we have a ton of storage. And then right behind here is where I kept all my tools when I was fishing. And then you got a nice little organizer back here for hanging fish hooks so they're ready to go in case you get caught up on something you want to change out your gear quickly. Under the port cushion on the bow is the storage for rods. Now go ahead and open this up. Lifts up, and as you can see, I have one rod in there right now. Um, but you can have uh, up to six rods it has holders for. It holds the handles back in the brackets in the, in the front of the boat, and then the tip of your rod just gets um, pushed back through some holes towards the stern. On the starboard side, we have extra storage in here for whatever you need. And then there's some storage right here. Once again, nice big area for, I kept my fenders in there. Now here we have the rear seat. Now, the only time I ever use this or have it out is if I have a lot of people on the boat. Uh, it offers the smoothest ride back by the engine, so if you have somebody that's not really comfortable uh, going out in some rougher water, you can sit them back here and it's a nice smooth ride. To put it away, it's quick and easy. This area here just lifts up, and then you go ahead and flip the seat up. And then to lock it in place, let's just push the legs in. And you're good to go. That offers a lot more room back here. There are two Yamaha Saltwater Series 2 engines. They're the V6s, 225 horsepower, 
OX66 fuel injection series. They're 1998 engines. The port engine had its power head replaced in 2010 with a rebuilt uh, power head. And the starboard engine was replaced with a brand new power head that was um, old stock out of Florida. Uh, and that was done in 2013. This is the port engine. The port engine has brand new spark plugs, thermostats, impeller, all done with zero hours on them. Here is the starboard engine. engines are extremely clean and well maintained. 